Okay. Hello, my friends. Boy, is this gonna be fun. I've been trying to watch these boys all day. Now that I've got you right where I want you, I'd like to watch all your animations. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. <laughs> Infamous swoosh people. We're doing it. We're doing it. Hey, you know, uh, Haminations? You know, uh, Brody Animates? Well, we have watched both of those people, and there's one member of the dynamic trio we haven't watched. I already said the name. I don't know why I'm, like, building it up. Infamous swoosh! I already know this dude is funny because he was in the other videos in the Brody Animates video. Awesome video. If you haven't seen it, make sure you check it out after. But we are going to check out some of his great... Greatest classics, sleepovers featuring haminations. My worst injuries featuring haminations. Nature stores feed Brody animates. And speaking of feet, I've got uh, Cameron uh, with me chilling, and it's pretty ill. And so I'm gonna talk to him a little. He's here, so Fire. we're kind of experiencing this together. Let's go. Yeah, let me let me know what you think, people. We are going to start with numero uno. Sleepovers featuring haminations. Uh, a, a tale as old as time. Actually, they probably didn't. Cavemen probably didn't have sleepovers. Do you think they did? I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Robert IDK, infamous swoosh. Three, two, one, go. In life, the best way to get closer to your friends is to sleep with them. Well, that's not, that's not what I meant. I, I, I mean, like, like sleeping not. over at their house, like with them. Separated. All right, and that, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. <laughs> Swoosh, you had one job, and it was to not make it weird. And you made it weird. I think sleepovers are underrated. As a kid, really? I always enjoyed going to my friend's house, spending the day with them, and then passing out at like 3 a.m. <gasps> and that's what this video is about, sleepovers, and why I still enjoy them as an adult. You graduated high school and you still like sleeping over at your friend's house and asking your mom to pick up snacks? <laughs> hey, don't bring my mommy into this. <laughs> You're telling me you don't want to hang out with your high school buddies, eat candy, watch movies, and play video games Dude. because it sounds too childish? Yes. Real? No way. There's no way Bryson doesn't dig a sleepover. There's no way. Bryson is like, he has like puppy dog energy. He has like, I love sleepover energy, you know? Anyways, see here. Okay, here's the problem. Here's the problem is you're still calling it a sleepover. If you are in like your 40s and you're like, we're gonna have a sleepover. Like that's another story, especially if you do bring your mom into this. But sleeping at the homie's house, hey, it happens. Well, we do, we do other things too, like... Talk about the weather and, and, oh. and what cars we like. Uh, the economy is one of them. <laughs> and our crushes and <laughs> who we like. You're a child. I could go on all day about the basic stuff to do in sleepovers, like staying up late with your friends, explaining to them how you're incapable of finding love. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> But in this video, I want to talk about my experience with them. Dude, did you find that at sleepovers, like, that's when you have, like, the deepest conversations with the boys? Oh, bro, 3 a.m., we're all sitting there in a corner, it's all dark, and we're having the most, like, philosophical thoughts of our lives. Right, yeah, well, and, but, like, it was always, like, the dudes who weren't comfortable talking about their crushes and stuff, at a sleepover, that's when it all comes out. Like, exactly. at, like, 3 a.m. with the boys, you, <laughs> like, the truth is revealed. I have a friend named Jimmy. Jimmy is one Hi, of my Jimmy. closest friends, though I'm pretty sure he doesn't watch my videos, so I guess I can say whatever I want about him. Jimmy, you're weird! And smelly! Like, why do you smell like that, man? Seems like every time I go to Jimmy's place, something weird happens. For example, a while ago, the guys and I were doing truth or dare. One of the dares caused one of the guys to jump into the snow <laughs> in his underwear. And to keep the person from dying of embarrassment, I'm not gonna say their name to the whole world. Or hypothermia. There was another dare where three of us had to five star my friend Moses. And if you don't know what a five star is, it's when you smack someone on their Ooh. back as hard as you can, leaving a red hand mark on them. So we all made a line to smack him in the back. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. He's going a little easy on me. Okay. We probably will not demonstrate this. I hope not. <laughs> I have divine slapping powers from the gods. So when you're young, when you're a kid, you'll slap your friends for fun, right? Every time, this, I'm not trying to flex, this is just the truth. I would accidentally like make them cry and, and leave a perfect handprint. I had never seen a five star before until I was like, hey, 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 with the boys. And then he collapses to the ground. Yeah, I just for some reason always, I don't know if it's just because I play baseball and I always 
I don't I don't know. All I know is I always ah! accidentally slapped way too hard. Funny enough, I got detention for accidentally doing something like that. You got what? I got detention in high school for doing that. <laughs> Slapping a person? What color is my underwear? Yeah, it's that old joke of like, oh yeah, if your hand's big in your face, you have cancer. <laughs> smacked my friend so hard, it caused his eyes to start watering. <laughs> oh my god. He, he smacked him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. smacked his Right, 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 yeah. <laughs> Another key essential to sleepovers is stuffing your face with food that's terrible for you, like candy, cookies, and chips that taste like acid. I love Takis, man. <laughs> but where do you get the snacks, you may be asking? A gas station? Oof. Did I give you permission to speak? What? Oh, I, I I thought I could say whatever I want. This is a collab. And no, I didn't. Nah, this is my video. Uh, yeah, so shut up. What? Put him in his place, in Roosh. Title, oh, yeah, that's right. Well, shut up anyway. There's a gas station down the street from Jimmy's house, so every time we have a sleepover, we do a gas station run. We grab the essentials like candy, chips, and, and those big slushies from the slushy machines that cost like 99 cents. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those hit the spot. Except there was this one time where Moses dropped a full slushy on the ground. What the heck? Uh, what now? Uh, you gotta clean it up. How do I clean it? Is that Bryson's voice? So, did you clean it all up? Just drive. Wins! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yes! Aw oh, man, that was fun. Good game, dude. Have you ever had unbridled rage from playing Smash Bros? <laughs> I know I have. No, because I always win. You! Why did you do that? You didn't deserve it. Smash Bros is one of the most perfect games to play at sleepovers. Though it brings yes. a lot of rage, the game is really fun. And my friends and I have had crazy times playing it. Like, there was this one time where Moses literally bet Jimmy $100 that he would beat him. And, of course, triumphantly lost, and then he did double or nothing. <laughs> no, stop! And he lost some more after that. Okay, let's let's just say that Moses owes Jimmy like five hundred dollars. <laughs> Silly Moses. Even if you bet a million dollars and went against me, your your frail mortal thumbs couldn't handle the power that I withhold. Yeah. I reign superior yeah. among all of you. And I will literally never lose. Can you just pick a character? Yes, okay. I've talked okay, I've talked about Smash Brothers before and how much I love Smash Bros. I also obsessed. Obsessed, obsessed. My most played game ever. Like I've never spent more time playing a game than Super Smash Brothers. Period. But I don't typically get rage from that game because I love competition. I love when I have a friend who can like beat me in that game. Which again, it's gotta be a certain kind of person. But the game that does give me unbridled rage and I cried real tears as a kid playing Mario Kart Double Dash. In order to win in Mario Kart Double Dash, the four races in a row, you have to come in first because the game will set it up that the second place person keeps getting second place. And if you mess up, if you mess up in the final lap of the final race and get thrown off the cliff, now you're in eighth place. The guy who was in second place on all other races, he still has more points than you. You lose. You don't unlock PD Piranha. And it's, it's, it sucks. It sucks. Dude, that would happen to me. You get home from school. You do all your homework. You have like two hours to play games before you have to go to sleep and then go to school the next day. Oh, you have that much time before you can play again. You have two hours. You can get like five or six shots at this. And if you are on the hardest difficulty and you get booted at the end, it's like, like I cried tears of frustration. That's the only time I've ever cried tears of frustration from a game. Oh, repressed trauma. Been there, don't want to do that again. Yeah. On the topic of gambling on video games, there have been even more bets that have gone down at Jimmy's. Recently, me, Jimmy, my friend Wyatt, and Moses were all playing Mario Party. And oh. Moses was getting a little rambunctious, as he does, saying he was going to win. I think you can tell where this is going. So, Jimmy saw Moses' ignorance as an opportunity to get free food from the one and only Taco Bell. And he bet him. Okay, Moses. If you win this game, we'll all chip in and buy you Taco Bell. Oh. But if you lose, you, you have die. to buy us Taco Bell. <laughs> Wait, I'm not agreeing with anything. Trust me, we're going to be eating like kings tonight. And we did. The Taco Bell was very good and tasted like sweet victory. <laughs> That's what I would say. If we actually ate it, Moses what? lost terribly in Mario Party, yes, but refused to buy us Taco Bell because he didn't want to and claimed he had no money. <laughs> 
poor. You're poor. Where's your integrity? You make a bet? Do they ever actually follow through? I guess now Moses owes Jimmy $500 and, you know, of course, a double-decker cheesy bean burrito from Taco Bell. And now on to the movies. Another key essential to having a great sleepover. Oh. There's just one problem. So when you're in a group of people, no one ever knows what movie to watch. There have been times where the dudes and I have looked for a yo, movie for about yo. an hour and ultimately gave up and watched YouTube videos. I hate that. That was like us earlier. Yeah, literally. Watching horror movies. Being totally vulnerable here, some movies have definitely scared me in the past. My name is Ong. Don't scare us. And I'm the Avatar. Ah! But nowadays, uh, when I watch okay. horror movies, I don't really get too scared. <laughs> but I'm definitely still a little spooked of the nighttime in general. So I've had times where I've left my friend's house at 12 a.m. after watching a horror movie, and it turns into that one spot. Oh, God, so snap! Trash. What? Did you draw? Dude, if Swoosh Dream created all of this, I love him. Dude, every every single one of these dope animators grew up watching SpongeBob. Do you also notice that the eyes move? That's sick! That is sick! This makes me so... I'm thrilled by this. I, I'm thrilled. And it turns into that one SpongeBob scene where he takes out the trash. Yeah! Crusty crab! Piece of cake. Baby. So, what's the lesson we learned from this video? Sleepovers are great. Junk food is amazing. Smash Pros will make me kill somebody one of these days. <laughs> I'm never gonna get a girlfriend, and Moses still owes me Taco Bell. And I haven't forgotten. I know you're watching this, Moses. You still owe me. Really? You still don't like sleepovers after all that? You punched me in the face. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. I'm so oh sorry. Oh boy. I totally the that. wrath. Yeah, I don't know what came over me. You know, sometimes oh you punch no. Smash Bros, things get a little crazy. The walk off KO! He does the fin. Oh! oh! The walk off! Oh my goodness, he slept in bed. All right, slap her, slap her out of the gate. But what did we expect, right? Slap her Reno. And we're gonna keep it going. Which by the way, guys, if you dig these videos, you need to subscribe to Infamous Woosh. I'm gonna do it right now. He's won me over in one video, but let's keep it going. My worst injuries, also featuring you notice that when Bryson invades Swoosh's videos, he doesn't get to do the insane combos. It's just a walk-off KO. He does a fin- oh! Swoosh doesn't want to animate that. He's like, yeah, Bryson already spent weeks doing those animations himself, not putting myself through that. Plus, if it's punch, he's gonna he's not gonna spend a week animating himself getting punched, you know? I'm overanalyzing this, but it's okay. My worst injuries. Three, two, one, go. Hey, Bryson. Yeah? I need you to hit me in the kneecaps with this baseball bat. Wh what Why? I don't want to hurt you, dude. I'll give you $5. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, I think it's safe to say that I get injured for pretty dumb reasons. I even made a whole video about my scars two years ago. Nowadays, I don't go outside that much. Going outside is scary. Recently, though, I got injured really bad. Uh, it, twice. Surprisingly, these injuries only happened a week apart. Like, what are the odds of that? I don't know, man. God was probably just like, Oh man, Nathan is gonna get injured twice this month. <laughs> well, at least they'll make a good video. So the first story happened on my cousin Ian's birthday. Basically, my friend Jimmy brought me, Ian, my brother, and my other friend Moses to the mall to play some games at an arcade. Yes, I have a friend named Moses. We actually did this fun VR Jurassic World game, and Moses screamed like a little girl. And it was hilarious. So after that, we decided it was time to get some dinner, then head to Moses' house. So on our way out of the mall, I saw this escalator by the door that was heading down. My brother walked up it, and I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> I should do that. So I proceeded to do it. But instead of walking up the stairs like my brother did, I was gonna run up them. Dude, every- you've done that, right? Everyone's done that. Every- every boy has done that, right? I'll be real with you. Escalators freak me out, and I don't mess with them all that often. Because of this getting sucked under a dime. Dude, I have seen so many horror stories and heard because my mom used to work in the mall. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Something Wait, those are real? Yes, my guy. People have actually, like, what, lo like, lost a foot? Sometimes, yeah, like, very worst case scenarios, but those are very few and far between. Usually, a lot of the time, what happens is someone's foot gets caught, the whole machine has to stop, and they lose the shoe in the process. Who cares about losing the shoe? But, I mean, imagine if your foot was still in the shoe. I know, that's what I am imagining. <laughs>
Dude, you can step off before, you don't need to like let your foot hit the edge. You can no, step over. 100%. But like in the worst case scenario, like just think about it. Like he's running the staircase, he trips and falls, he's going straight in. Like, Dude, your nose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's see, let's see what happens. I'm the kind of person that skips steps when I walk up them. Yeah, so, same. I did that. You know what I mean? Yeah, you While know running So my brother, his fake name escalator. will be Justin, made it to the top. I started to run up it, and it was oh, actually no. going well. Once I got to the top, I didn't know how to get off, and I could trip if I continued True. running. So I jumped to the top to get off. Oh. Well, turns out jumping up an escalator that's going down does not Bad go idea. well. As soon as I jumped, my foot hit the escalator, and I fell. Now, before I continue, I know it's pretty funny. I ran up an escalator that was going down and tripped like an idiot. Looks like I left my brain at home. Turns <laughs> out, when I fell on the escalator, my kneecap smashed oh! against the corner of one of the stairs. Now, I don't know if you know what stairs on an escalator specifically look like. Yes! They're metal and have oh, ridges in them. So the, it's got- It's three feet wide and filled with razor sharp teeth! Forget about the go Yes! <laughs> it's three feet wide and filled with razor sharp teeth! Oh. Okay, maybe we just need to forget about the Gilgamesh for a second and focus- FORGET ABOUT THE Gilgamesh! FORGET ABOUT THE Gilgamesh! <laughs> Dude, keep the whole clip. Keep the whole clip. So my knee dug into the metal ridges when I fell. Immediately, Ow. I was in pain. Ow. I didn't really know what to do, so I sat down on the stairs as it went down. As I was sitting there, a security guard was right next to me. Good job, down. Dingus. Yeah, kid, that's why you don't do that. Idiot. I limped outside yeah, to see yeah, Jimmy, yeah. Ian, and Moses walking to the car. I limped over there and what? told them I was in tremendous pain. I didn't know what to do, so I sat down in the parking lot and rolled up my Where pants. Where were your boys? I down. Oh, good lord. I had three small indents in my knee that were bruised all around them and filled up with blood. Ian and Moses were losing it. They were practically crying from laughing What so is wrong with Damn. them? <laughs> so this is what it feels like to be one of those people in those epic fails, warning, graphic True. videos. Then Jimmy pulled up the truck and we all got in. Then we started driving to Taco... Buck Hotel to eat some they food. They really like Buck Hotel, On the way over, Hotel, I took a huh? picture of my knee and posted it on Twitter. So, Swoosh, four years ago, you weren't comfortable saying Taco Bell in a video, but one year ago, you decided it's okay? All right. On the way over, I took a picture of my knee and posted it on Twitter. I, I don't know why. I, I think I wanted to see how people would react because I was, like, drunk from pain or something. That's going in my cringe compilation. <laughs> if you want to see the picture, I have a link to the tweet in the description. I'm not putting it in the video because I don't want to get demonetized. It's pretty gross, and I'm warning you there's blood in it. Guys, I'm here to do the hard things so you don't have to. Okay, the photos got deleted on Twitter, but I'm gonna try to Google. No! Infamous swoosh injury. Safe search off! Uh, oh, wait, what? Right there, yep. Not this. You sure? That's, that's his arm. Guys, I'm struggling here. Is that it? No, now we're just getting pictures of people with injuries on their knees. Yeah, but I want swooshes! Well, sorry I let you down, guys. Anyway, so we got to Bok Hotel and I was not feeling it. Hey, guys, I don't... I don't feel so good. Yeah, alright, Spider-Man. I limped into the Bok Hotel uh... and went to the bathroom. Oh, man, this is... this is not good. Then I washed the bottle out with a wet paper towel. Hi, welcome to Bok Hotel. Ooh. How may I help you? Do you guys have band-aids? Uh, yeah? I sat down and put on the band-aids, then ordered my food. Ugh. We all laid and then left. The entire car ride to Moses' house was awful. Since we were in a cramped car, and the injury was on my kneecap, and I was sitting, I did not feel so hot. So for the next couple of days, I had bandages on my knee. The rest of the story is pretty normal. I slowly healed and have pictures of that too in the description if you want to see them. <sighs> Once again, graphic warning. After a week of minor pain, anytime I bend my leg, I went over to my Ooh. friend James's house. You know who he is. I did have a knee injury once. And dude, I my knee I think still clicks. Let's 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 do a test. Wait. I'm healed! <laughs> It's a miracle. All right. Okay, anyways, I was trying to uh, impress a girl in grade nine and I climbed on top of a fence and jumped off of the fence and it was on a hill and I fell and just my knee hit a rock really hard. And yeah, it had like a centimeter deep thing. And uh, oh, I still have the scar. I do have the scar still. I'm healed. 
No, I don't know. Right there. Right there. It's so... It has faded so much. Wow. I haven't looked for that scar since I was maybe 15. Hey, guys, anyone who has a scar when you're a teenager, just so you know, that might fully go away by the time you're an adult. Go me. Well, I have nothing cool to show you. Sorry. At his house, we decided to go to Chick-fil-A. He had two bikes, but one was super annoying to ride. So James let me use the good bike and we headed over. After ordering some food and then eating it, we left. Hey, I want to ride the good bike home. Why? You ride it all the time. Yeah, but it's the good bike. <sighs> all right, man. So we were riding and it was going all right. I mean, the bike isn't good and it was hard to keep up with James. <laughs> At one point, we were riding super fast on an open road and I had one hand on my handles. Before I knew it, the pedal sped one up and hand. I spun out and flew off. Now, I do not advise this, but James didn't have any helmets, so oh. he wearing any. And when I fell, I stuck out my left arm to break my fall so I wouldn't smash wrist. my head. Wrist? Wrist? Oh, no! Ow. Wrist? I immediately tried to get up, but fell back over. James turned around and came over. Hey, man, you good? What did he land on? Yeah, James. Just peachy. As I was lying on the ground, I got up and almost threw up. I just ate a chicken sandwich with fries and a True. drink, okay? It was good. I totally thought that we were gonna have a broken wrist. That's exactly the type of fall where you break your wrist. That's how I broke my wrist. No, oh, there you go. There you go. It's all, like, other than the fact that I did mine over some, like, little jump ramps you get as a kid. Oh, oh. Like, that's literally how I broke my wrist. Yeah, that's how the kids break their wrists, by trying to just put their arms out and them. Dude, that's why, like, I don't skateboard. Or, like, I skate Skateboarded a little bit, and I it's kind of cool, but at the same time, it's just so easy to injure yourself. It's so easy, it's insane. So what I will say, guys, helmets, helmets. You are not too cool to wear a helmet. Nobody is too cool to wear a helmet. Being safe is cool. Being unsafe, you a fool. And that is whack. <laughs> and with skateboarding, if you're at like a park or something, wrist guards, you really should. A lot of people break their wrists. I just ate a chicken sandwich with fries and a drink, okay? It was good, uh, by the way. Ugh, okay. So the good news is I'm not going to throw up. Now let's look at this. Oh, sweet mother of pearl. Jeez, is it that bad? Yeah, let's just say it looks like the state of Florida. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, check it out. Oh, wow. It oh, does look cool. like Florida. No, nah, I'm serious on that one, though. It looks like Florida, but backwards. Here's a picture. Oh, wait. We did yeah, see that if one. if you want to see those pictures, did, link yeah. in the description. We did again. see that but one. They're really gross, so I advise you not to look at them. But if you want to, I just whatever. The fall ended up leaving a mark on my elbow, my pinky, and my palm. Ooh. It was really bad. And once again, I was in a lot of pain. Me and James ended up walking back to his house, where I was bedridden pretty much the entire time. Because when I hit the ground, I also pulled a muscle in my leg. Oof. <sighs> Fun day, but thanks to my left arm, I'm still That's alive. Fun, dude. So yeah, I've had some pretty bad injuries. Call them lame or mediocre, but trust me, they both hurt a lot. So what did we learn today in this month's infamous swoosh cartoon? Be careful out there, kids. Uh, also, don't run up escalators that yep, are going down. Yep. Uh, wear helmets and yep. always try to be safe on a bike. See, look, now I'm here to tell you not to do that stuff. Also, here are the scars. Boom, scars part two, baby. Um... No, I'm, I'm kidding. That's 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 not happening. <coughs> Okay, bye. Yeah, okay, so we saw, I'm pretty sure we saw the elbow, the, 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 Florida, the Florida one. one. I think we saw that when we were trying to find the knee. So I guess that makes a lot more sense now. Yeah, <laughs> it was, it was pretty, it was, I don't, okay, we gotta see if it looked like Florida. Yeah, this is it. Wow. Yeah, that's bad. That's an entirely old. Oh no, okay, no, I can see it. Okay, we have time for one more. What I was originally gonna do is I really wanted to watch this teacher stories with Brody animates. I bet this video is awesome, but if I do that, this video will be like 42 minutes long or something. So instead, I'm gonna pick a shorter one. And if you guys really want me to look at that one and revisit Infamous Swoosh, you gotta boop the like button on this video. Make sure you're subscribed and leave a comment letting me know if you wanna see it again. That genuinely is what makes me determine if I do a video again. Like, you guys are what- you- you know what I'm saying. But for now, we are gonna close it off with a short and sweet one. Well, not that short, but shorter. Birthdays! Let's go! Birthday. It's your birthday. Last birthday, she got you a new sweater. What? Put it on, give her a kiss, and tell her do better. Wait, did I already do three to one? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Hey guys, information smush here in 2019. So that's pretty cool. <gasps> and it's my birthday? Whoa, man. 
What a coincidence. I totally did not plan to post this video today, guys. Whoa. Haha. <laughs> anyway, so birthdays. Every time February rolls around, I anticipate my birthday. I mean, not like I used to. Nowadays, I'm kind of like, oh, cool, I'm, I'm older now. Ooh, close. So everybody tells me that February is the worst month for birthdays. What? Wait, February is great, man. You got Valentine's Day, Groundhog Day, it's crazy. President's Day. Crazy. February goes off. Everything's in February. Infamous Swoosh's birthday day. Yeah, it's not that special. I think February is sick. Okay, so here's the thing. In, in this, it, there's so many, eight, like, everyone's perspective on age changes at some point in their 20s, right? At some point in your 20s, you stop looking forward to your birthdays. You stop looking forward to getting older. And you want your birthday to be later in the year, you know? Yeah. When you're a kid, I always thought, like, the kids, you know, when you're, like, eight years old and someone in your class was born in January and you're born in December, it's like, they're like so much they have like oh so much older than me it's like it's i thought that was sick i thought that was so cool i was jealous of those people you know but yeah now as an adult it's like you don't want your you stop wanting your birthday to be you you don't you're not excited for your birthday to just keep coming you right. know yeah but as a kid you're like let's go birthdays Honestly, I think 25 is the age where it changes. And maybe not for everyone, but adults watching, maybe you can relate. I'm not old, you know, you know, and I'm not like middle-aged either. I'm just saying that's when it changed for me. Once after 25, it's like, ooh, I'm catching up to 30. <laughs> <gasps> Woo! And you stop looking forward to it. Yeah, it's not a fun feeling. Aww. I don't want to be old, Robert. I mean, some people are born on leap year day, which is February 29th. What day do you people celebrate your birthday when it's not a leap year? March 28th. 1st, February 28th? Gotta be the 28th. That's weird, man. The point is, I think calling it the worst month is incorrect there, buckaroo. I don't entirely remember most of my birthdays in my early years of life. Thankfully, my mother documented my first one. About five years ago, my dad and I got out our old family tapes for memory's sake. And on February 11, 2003, my mother filmed me eating a cake for four straight minutes. It was adorable, but she kept baby talking me while I was just enjoying my cake. Oh, hey, man, you like boy. He's just a cute boy eating a cake. That's how I talk to my rats when they're eating, though. Like, <laughs> ooh, you sweet little muffin. <laughs> like, let's let's do that right now. Let's do it. Hello, little bears. Hello, little muffins. Hello, Mr. Mouse. Hello, Ralphie, those nachos. Hello, baby boys. Look at the cute boys. Look at the cute boys. Hello. Last birthday, she got you a new sweater. I'm eyeballing you so hard right now. Oh, you know it. You know it. Last birthday, she got you a new sweater. <laughs> leave this in. It's stupid. You can leave in me saying that, too. <laughs> Actually, can, can you? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, why don't you film? I was wondering why you didn't hand me the Yeah, camera. why didn't I? This is way better. Okay. Last birthday, she <laughs> got you a new sweater. Okay, baby. Baby boys, there you go. Happy those nachos. There you go, Mr. Rat. Yay! There's the baby boy. There's the little baby boy. Are you gonna eat that? Are you gonna eat that? Oh, are you gonna hide it? Is he gonna go hide? Come on, we wanna oh, see oh, it. Oh, boy. Okay. Who you go, baby boy? Who you do 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 about my favorite baby boy? Anyways, we're good. Hey man, can you like not? Thanks. Oh, the baby. Oh, yes, you enjoying your cake? You're enjoying your How cake? long does this go oh, on for? Where'd you get yeah, this yeah, recording of me? Ever, and I wish I could show you, but our family camera is kind of broke. We're working on fixing it, but, you know, priorities. Well, I can't show you this. This is a picture on my third birthday. No, I was so cute. What happened? Also, you're supposed to eat the donut, not stab it violently with a plastic sword. The next one true warrior remember was my fifth one. Growing up, I was a huge Sonic the Hedgehog fan. My favorite boy was Knuckles the Echidna. He was so cool, and I wanted to eat him on a cake of him. Okay, so real talk, why did they make Knuckles an echidna? Is echidna like a way more common word in Japanese? Do they have echidnas in Japan? I I don't know if maybe one time in my life I've heard the word echidna not referring to Knuckles. I bet if you search echidna, Knuckles will show up. Oh. Never mind. I guess Google does know something. Yeah, look, they're like little mole creatures. They're like half hedgehog, half porcupine, half mole. Oh, look at this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Listen, guys, you look up a Sonic character, there's no chance you're getting out unscathed, you know? <laughs> oh, no. When you look up Sonic characters, you're leaving seeing something that you didn't plan on seeing. <laughs> 
Wow. Oh. That, that was an experience. I hated that. Hey, sweetie, happy birthday. What kind of cake do you want? I you want like knuckles. knuckles. I want the knuckles cake. Yeah, man, sure. So my mom brought over my lifelong friend James and his mother. Me and James goofed off for about an hour while James's mom and my mom made the cake. And I swear to you, that cake was a masterpiece. To this day, my mom still brags about see it. It was a vanilla cake with a big knuckles head on it. Cool. And I loved it. After they finished, all my friends and I went to the best place to have a birthday party in 2007. McDonald's. I mean, yeah, Ooh. granted, it was a play place McDonald's, so it was still really fun. So on yeah. that day, I got a Crypto the Super Dog action figure and ate my Knuckles cake. It was a good day. Growing up reading the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series, I was told that as you grow older and older, you start getting clothes as presents for Christmas or on your birthday, and that huh. that's a bad thing. No, seriously, Craig Heavily talks about it right here on page 120. But what I've realized over my 17 years of life... Is that Greg Heffy lied to me? What the heck, Greg? I thought we were homies. Getting clothes is actually nice when you're a teenager. I don't have a ton of clothes, Greg, and 90% of them are on my floor anyway. Okay, that part, the on my floor, relatable. <laughs> Dude, that's a huge problem for me. I so my, my whole life, I've gotten clothes for Christmas, and I don't want them. <laughs> Guys, over the course of my life, like, my parents have obviously, like, bought me probably, like, over a hundred clothing gifts on Christmas. Like, over the course of my entire life, right? They, maybe two of them I thought were sick. Dude, every time, it's like, mom, let me pick out my clothes. I'm me. Like, I'm me, right? It's like, like if I let my mom pick out my tattoo, you know? Right, it's like, what? hey, mom, pick out my tattoo. Tattoo and it's like, oh, oh no. Oh, that's real nice. And I feel so bad, right? Because it's like, I want to be appreciative. I don't want to, you know, be rude. But it's like, mom, I'm, I'm not going to wear it. It's maybe around her, I will. But like, I'm not going to wear it because I'm going to wear things that feel like me. Last birthday, she got you a new sweater. I'm going to wear things that I got for myself because that's who I, that's how I want to look. So yeah, I mean, honestly, maybe Swoosh's mom just knows him better than my mom knows me. I don't know. I just don't know why my mom... Still to this day, will buy me clothes like every Christmas. And it's like, oh, mom, this is gonna sit in my closet. Please stop it. You know, I'm gonna sound like a brat right now, but it's just reality. <laughs> the only time I like wear different things is when I'm filming. If I like the rest of the time I wear like a, pl I was saying this to you earlier. I wear like a plain black t-shirt or a plain white t-shirt. I like only wear interesting things when I'm filming. Honestly, for me, if I have some of my family over and enjoy dinner with them and get clothes and maybe some other stuff, that's a good birthday in my opinion so if you get close for your birthday enjoy them kids your parents love you <clears throat> if you like the anyway, clothes my birthdays were totally different in elementary school my mom would bring in donuts and everyone would go crazy it actually became a yearly thing but then i got to middle school and realized no one cared you'd be surprised once you get older a lot of people don't really care about your birthday you see throughout yeah. life there are significant birthdays and non-significant birthdays Ah, what do you mean, swoosh? Well, let me tell you. People don't care about you unless you turn 13, 16, or 18 in your teenage years. Those are the special birthdays. When you turn 13, you could legally call yourself a teenager. When you turn 16, you could finally drive and actually pretend to be responsible. I speak from experience. I was 16 yesterday. At 18, you're legally... <laughs> Okay, so I'm not double his age, so that's nice. I'm not not double. I am, I ain't double. But man, when did it? When did this? This is pretty old, right? I think this one is old. Video. Four years ago. Oh, well, no, 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 no. He might be like 21 or two, because he said I was 16 yesterday. So the day before oh, this video came out. This is a. I'm 17 now. Exactly right. So he put this video out on the day of his 17th birthday. Right. So uh, 2020, uh, 18, 19, 220, 2023. 321. Yeah, that math maths. Dude, that was so hard to count both the ones. I'm terrible at that. <laughs> I could hear the gears grinding. It was here. so hard. <laughs> okay, okay, he's 21. 21? 21? At 18, you're legally an adult. So 14, 15, and 17 don't really matter. The other day, I went up to my mom and asked, Hey mom, since my birthday is coming up, can we have some family members over and throw a party for me since I'm turning 17? Nah, honey, let's just wait until you're 18. <laughs> what? You see, being 17 doesn't really matter. So, yeah. Yikes. Okay. My own mother. Why is that a thing? What's with all the hate on these ages? I guess it's all right because being 18 is a big deal. But hey, I can say I survived 17 years on Earth. I know I've kind of been complaining this whole video, but two people I gotta thank today are my parents. My parents didn't Aww. want any more kids when my older brother was born, but realized that he would need someone to play with since the age gap between him and my older sister was six years. So they decided to have me two years later. My life has been full of great birthdays because of my parents, and I'm extremely grateful. Jeez, how wholesome. This 
Dude. I do think, okay, I do think about this a lot, actually, being grateful for parents. You seem to have great parents. I have good parents. So I, I like my parents. I know that not everyone has had amazing experiences with their parents, so maybe this doesn't apply to every single person, but what I will say is the whole, like, if your parents didn't decide to have you at that exact millisecond of life and do everything that they did, every single little ex thing that led up to that moment, if everything wasn't exactly, you, you wouldn't, it wouldn't be you. It would be a different person that was born. That's insane. That is insane. Forget about the fact that they just wouldn't have a person potentially. The chances of you existing are unfathomable and they waste that chance on playing Roblox. I'm just kidding. And then they spend their life watching James Charles. Oh my god! <laughs> I think about that all the time. Like, being alive, I feel like, should come with a tremendous sense of gratitude. Because, yes, no, you're, you, no one's life is perfect, obviously. Everyone has issues, everyone has struggles. But, if there's anything in the world that you like that makes you happy whatsoever, you gotta be thankful for being alive. And you gotta thank your parents for that. So thanks, Mom, for making that Knuckles cake way back when. And Dad, thanks for not fixing the family camera because we both know watching TV is better. Uh, man, you could have used that footage for some videos though. Ain't nothing like an old thing. <laughs> I had fun. Infamous swoosh. Get some infin infinite <laughs> thumbs up, baby. <laughs> Great videos. I loved them. And people, if you want to check out Infamous Swoosh, there's the link to the channel. It's also in the description. Make sure you're subscribed to this guy if you want to see more stuff like this. He did such a great job. These videos were a lot of fun. Here's the time that we looked at Brody Animates. Haminations and Infamous Swoosh are both in that video. So check it out if you haven't seen it. Or here's a video that YouTube thinks you will like. I will see you here. I will see you there. Have a great day, homie. Peace.